Hey everyone, in this video, we will list out all the users stored in our database in our web application. So, here you can see this is my project directory. Now, first of all, let's start the server. So, I will change my directory to next MySQL, and here I will run npm run dev. This will bring my server up. And here you can see my server is up on localhost 3000. So I will open this URL in my web browser. And here you can see this is the static data. Now we will uh, bring the dynamic data here. We will list out all the users from our database here. So in VS Code, open the pro project directory and here under the pages folder open the index.js file and here uh, first of all we will write the get server side props function so we will write export a sync function get server side props and here we will pass the data from our database so I will write const response and this is the sync function so we will use the await keyword right here uh, before the fetch method and uh, in the fetch method I, we will write the endpoint so I will write localhost 3000 users sorry API users and when I make a get request on this AP, uh, API endpoint then it will bring me all the users uh, saved in my database so we will change the response we will parse the response and store it in the users variable then from here we will return props users and users and here we will destructure users and then we will make a state const my users set my users and here we will use use state hook and uh, here we will pass users okay now in the uh, project root directory we will make a folder context and in this folder uh, we will make an app context.js file and in this file we will first import create context and then we will make a variable app context which will hold the instance of create context so we will write create context and then we will export the app context from this file and we will import the app context in the index.js file yeah and now before the layout component we will pass the uh, my users state with the app context so we will write app context provider and here we will pass value as a prop and we will pass an object and in this object we will pass users which will hold my users and then we will pass set my users function set my users like so and below the layout component we will close the app on text provider like so now our layout component can use this uh, my users state okay so I think there's an issue okay 
yeah we need to close this app context right here now open the layout component and here we will import app on text and here we will make a variable value and we will use the use context hook and in this hook we will pass app context and we will pass this value in the users table component so we will pass a prop users and in this prop we will pass value dot users here you can see we have a users key in this value prop so that's why we have passed value dot users here now in the users table component here uh, we will restructure the users prop as we have passed users right here and then here we will make a function user generator uh, before that let's import the user component so i will write here import user and then here we will make a function user generator and this function will return the user component we will map through the users all the users and we will return the user component so i will write here user and user is equals to user and here we will pass key is equals to user and now uh, from the table body we will remove all these table row tags and here we will run the user generator function so i will write user generator and now let's see what happens uh, let me tell you one thing i've already added three to four users in my database with the help of api uh, as you can see when i make a get request at the user's endpoint let me show you as you can see uh, i have four users as of now i have already added these users in my database with the help of post request now let's uh, okay so it is showing me an error users is undefined okay let me see what is the error okay the error is of this users prop uh, let's refresh the page once again okay Uh, error serializing the uh, dot user return from get server side props i think there's an issue in this index.js file what's the issue users
Now, what's the issue? Okay, here we have not used the await keyword, so we have to use await keyword right here. And now let's refresh the page again. And as you can see, it is working correctly, but the data is still static. Now we need to convert it into dynamic. So uh, we will open the user component from the component folder. We will open user.js file and in this file, what we will do is uh, we will destructure the user pop first of all. And here in the place of static data, we will place user.username and here we will place user.email. Now let's see. Now here you can see all these data are showing dynamically and uh, these are the users stored in my database so let's add one more user in my database so i will make a post request on the users endpoint and here i will write chill max and here also i will write chill max at gmail.com and i will make a post request on this users endpoint with this data this json data uh, let's make this request and here you can see it has responded me with id 8 it means the id of this user is 8 and now let's refresh the page and here you can see we have the newly added user right here so that's all for this video guys uh, in the next video we will see uh, how to implement the functionality of pagination as you can see right here so we will show only three users at uh, one page and the rest users will be shown on the next page so meet you in the next video guys thank you very much